guys, this is Aaron from Formula Honda. Today I'm going to show you how to sync up your Android device with your Honda infotainment system. Uh, and uh, what was once said you can't do, you in fact can. So here we go. All right. So the first thing you want to do is to ensure that your vehicle has um, Link Connect. Um, if your vehicle doesn't, um, probably should though, then of course you're not going to be able to sync up your phone. You have an older... Um, Honda, which doesn't have that capability. However, most vehicles from 2013, depending on the model and up, have this feature. And as long as your phone, as your car has uh, Link Connect, you're good to go. Next thing you want to do is ensure that your phone has Mirror Link. And Mirror Link oh, is um, not a, an app that you can download. It's built into the phone. So if your phone doesn't have it, you won't be able to uh, sync up with the vehicle via what I'm showing you. There are some other things out there, but Mirrorlink is really what's been designed to work with this uh, with this phone, uh, with this car. Next thing is you want to download these apps. Um, these are the apps that I've found are really good, um, pretty much the only ones that you can get. So um, Rock Scout, which um, is... Uh, uh, which is a player that allows you to listen to Spotify and vanilla music, which are the next two. And then News on Board, which, you know, doesn't let you do anything while you're driving, but allows you to see some news and things like that. And uh, Sigic Car Navigation, followed by My Roamer, which is, uh, again, internet music. So I'll show you how all these work. So um, ensure your Bluetooth is on and um, connect up your vehicle. All you need is your standard USB connector. Um, and let's just connect it up. One second. All right, good to go. So what you're going to find is once it's connecting, your screen's going to go black. And it's going to show that it's connected. So just give it a second here. And there we go. So it's saying that I am connected uh, via mirror link. The for Unfortunately, your phone is going to completely lock you out at this point. There's nothing you can do. You can't get into any apps. There's nothing. Um, it just goes completely blank. And uh, now you're connected up to the phone, uh, to the car, via your phone. So um, next thing you want to ensure is that your phone is uh, connected via Bluetooth. And then you're going to see these um, arrows come up here that you didn't have before. Touching those arrows is going to display those apps. Um, the apps will all work while you're driving, except for news on board. And you'll notice that because the moment you put it into drive, it blacks itself out, as well as edit apps. However, the rest of these are still fine. Once you go back into park, they come to life again, so you can do that. So uh, let's go over these apps. The first one is Rock Scout which when you open it, gives you access to the music apps on your phone. So Spotify, which is uh, internet music. Um, I don't have a great data plan, so I don't use it that much. But vanilla music, I use a lot. And that basically gives you access to all of the music that's on your phone via a really cool interface. Um, you can go back to the song that you were listening to by pushing Now Playing. And then, of course, it... Um, Brings that back up, and then oh, play, and then everything starts to uh, work again, and then uh, that one. So we've got um, all this music here. It also works via your control up here, so you can uh, go and listen to it and fast forward and rewind it that way. So um, that's a really cool app. Next. My Roamer, which again is also internet music and radio stations, things like that. Local and um, what's going on? Taking so long. Weird. Favorites. There we go. So up here you've got um, radio stations that you can listen to um, from all over the world. Again, it uses your data. 
and which most people are going to be interested in Sigic Car Navigation. All right, um, pretty awesome app. Very expensive for the premium, um, but um, works really well. Uh, it will speak to you over your speakers of your vehicle, interrupt your music while you're listening to your radio or whatever it is. Um, and, um, of course, you can do everything via touch, zoom in, zoom out, um, whatever you need is all up here. And um, you can go in, you can search, address, um, let's say, uh, rich. Jeepers. All right, address. So Toronto, and then in this case, I mean, Young Street was up there. O N G E space street, and then the number one, two, three, four, done, and drive. Two. And there we go. Um, in the beginning, this app had trouble speaking over uh, the speakers. Um, when I asked it, when, when you do directions, and I needed to download a new voice onto my uh, phone, American English, before it was like some British. So once I did that, everything worked. At times the music would um, stop working and continually stop working. So I found just by pushing the source button, uh, when that happened, the music came back up and running. That didn't happen a lot, but when it did, of course, you don't want to be driving without music for an extended amount of time. So um, that's what I did there. And um, otherwise, everything seems to be working great. I haven't had... Um, haven't had... Uh, any issues with it, and um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at Aaron at FormulaHonda.com. And other than that, um, it's easy to use, and as long as you follow these instructions, you'll have a great time with it. All right, thanks for watching, and enjoy.